Hello everyone. Today I will take you back to Vietnam to visit the Independence Palace. This is the second time I went back to Vietnam and I get to visit the place. It was very emotional. This is the place where I grew up and the last time I saw it was uh, 1975. That's when the Vietnam War ended and lost to communists. Today, I want to take you to Independent Palace. The Independent Palace, the Vietnamese word is Yin Độc Lập, also publicly known as the Reunification Conventional Hall. Vietnamese word is Hội Trường Thống Nhất. It is the landmark in Saigon, Vietnam. Now is Ho Chi Minh City. It was designed by the architect Ngo Viet Thu and was the home and the workplace for the presidents of the Republic of Vietnam, Vietnam Cộng Hòa. It was the site of the phones of, on, the, on the 30th of April 1975 that ended the Vietnam War and when the North Vietnamese Army tank crashed through its gates. Just only thinking of this moment, my heart vibrating because it was very sad and emotional for the Vietnam Cộng Hòa at the moment. Now walking through the gate, I had memorized and all of the memory recall. It was a mixed sad feeling in my heart. Independent Palace Construction of the current Independence Palace was ordered by President Ngo Dinh Yin in 1962 to replace the old palace which was badly damaged due to being bombed by the dissident Republic of Vietnam Air Force pilots. It was constructed according to the design by Ngo Viet Thu, a Vietnamese architect who won the first grand prize of Rome in 1955, the highest recognition of the Beaux Arts School in Paris. The construction of the palace started on July 1st, 1962. Meanwhile, Ngô Đình Diệm and his ruling family moved to Yalong Palace. Today is Ho Chi Minh City Museum. However, Ngô Đình Diệm did not see the complete horn as his and his brother, the chief advisor Ngô Đình Nhu, assassinated after coup d'etat led by General Yung Văn Minh in November 1963. The completed horn was inaugurated on the 31st October 1966 by the chairman of the National Leader Committee, General Nguyễn Văn Thiệu, who was then the head of the military junta. The Independence Horn served as Thiel's home and office from October 1967 to the April 21st, 1975, when he fled the country as communist North Vietnamese forces swept southwards in the decisive Ho Chi Minh campaign. On April 8, 1975, Nguyễn Thanh Trung, a pilot of South Vietnamese Air Force and an undetected communist fly flew by F-5E aircraft from Binh Hoa Air Base to bomb 
the palace but caused no significant damage. At 10.45 on April 30th, 1975, a tank of North Vietnamese Army bulldozed through the main gate, effectively ending the Vietnam War. Many hearts sink low and many sadness for that moment for the South Vietnam and the Vietnam Cộng Hòa ended on that day. I feel very sad talking about this, but this is happened during the time I'm grown up and I was the witness. In November 1975, after the negotiation convention between communist North Vietnam and their colleagues from South Vietnam was completed, the provisional Revolutionary government renamed the Palace Reunification Hall Hội Trường Thống Nhất. The palace is independent. When we walk through this, you will see the president's office in his hall, the own war room underneath the palace, the roof of the reunification palace, the banquet chamber in the Independence Hall, Minister Cabinet Room, Conference Hall, and outside you will see the Vietnamese T-54 tank in the gardens at the entrance of the palace. It was very uh, different feelings and it mixed in the sad feeling because all of the memory of the 1975 rushing back to my heart for the southern Vietnamese girl. It was a sad thing. But now coming back, I view it at a different way. I view it as like going to the museum and start looking at things in the past. It have a mixed feeling because Vietnam now is independent and we just have to accept it and the Saigon name is still going to be in many people's heart. Some call it Ho Chi Minh City and some call Saigon and for me it's always dear Saigon. Until then, I will see you in the next video and going to a different place. Thanks for traveling with me. Thank you for watching and I hope you like my video. Please subscribe, give it a thumb up, like to support my channel. Thank you so much.